it's at. Hi. You want five? Oh. Oh, that was sad. I am ready to go. <laughs> Welcome yes. to what the fuck is in the box. That wasn't even rehearsed. That no, was really good. good. That was really good. Hey, elbow yeah. watching. Yeah, solid. Learn to look at the elbow. Welcome. Never miss a high five. I have Eric with me. <clears throat> also known as Wet White Man. Wet White Man. Mini That's Eric. Right. That's right. We brought him with me. Tell me that is not the coolest Christmas gift you've ever gotten in your entire life. That is the shittiest Christmas Whoa, gift. I see what you did there. That's the crappiest gift there. I've ever gotten. <laughs> he dropped an S-bomb. He didn't say crap at all. What did you say? Uh, that's what I thought you said. Oh, man. <laughs> Disclaimer. <laughs> what did you bring? Other than Wet White Man. Besides him? Yeah. And you? Else? And yeah. 17 Any? caffeinated beverages? No, nope, no caffeinated beverages today, folks. <laughs> That's right. They're Not gone. Not today. Not today. Well, we brought the, um, parlez-vous français, DRA-800H. <laughs> dash Hey, what's that stand for, Drew? DRA? DRA. I don't know. Digital receiver <laughs> audio? Is it? I don't know. That's Dual good, receiver yes. audio? I'm taking Why it. Why 800? Listen, you sold me, bro. Why 800? You don't have to keep selling me. H for Heos. Is that it? H for Heos. Are you guessing all of these? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. so it's the DRA-800H from Denon. It's a uh, two-channel stereo receiver, Great. 100 watts per channel. I knew that part. Yeah, well, that's because you're reading the French on the back. Let's talk about the box. English on the front. We believe French on the back. Is it French or are you guessing that? See, si. yeah. Okay. Oui, oui, Francais. All right, French on the back. French on the back. So two-channel receiver. Um, these are a really unique piece. Uh, today, most most of the receivers are going into the surround sound mode. It's nice to have a receiver that does a just a straight two-channel audio that actually offers an AVR. Mm -hmm. um, box has got a ton of logos on it because this thing does a ton of things. Does so a lot of stuff. There's a lot to talk about with the feature set that we'll get to on, as we kind of unbox and unpack it. Very simple box. Sorry this one was shipped to us. They don't come looking like this always, but um, great I like piece. the fact that they got the QR code on top with the manual they right do. there. They do, yeah. So, I actually scanned the QR code. Did you? I did. What'd you come up with? You're Nothing. a cheater. You scan and look up I stuff did. before we get started so that you can code. appear smarter yeah. on video. <laughs> Says the and guy make telling me you look bad. DRH reads. <laughs> so uh, it brings up the manual. Mm -hmm. User manual. So right. if you lose it or don't have it or don't want to look at the paper one, you can do that. Mm -hmm. We're Let's getting get into this, this wait, right? Wait. Sorry. Sorry. There is a really cool you thing on top. They talk about the difference in the two USBs. What does it say, Eric? Five volt, one amp. Use a little USB stick. And what should you not use? A telephone. That's right. It's kind of cool that they call that out. That input is really for a USB not drive, to plug your cell like a little phone thumb drive into. versus connecting Plugging your cell phone. phone is not going to do anything. So I like that they call that out for you. Um, that is just to read an external hard drive. So I thought that was cool. Yeah, that's for their lossless stuff, actually. This is a kind of an audiophile's dream, actually. It's got a lot of really high-end componentry built into oh, it. Oh, man, you can't see this. These QR codes are fantastic. I hope you can see this. Maybe. Can you, you sure can they see can't see it? No, oh, we just showed our bald right We're showing now. our bald spots. Stop it. Nothing wrong with my bald. Oh, there's a lot wrong with it. So in here are the QR codes for the apps that you can use on this receiver. So you've got the AVR controller app for Denon, which is fantastic. And you also have the Heos app, which we'll, Eric can talk about now. What's Heos? Heos, uh, music streaming. What's right? it stand for? <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> on to streaming. I feel like that's pretty good. Inside joke, sorry. Yeah, so Heos is built in, right, as they're starting to go, right, uh, with a lot of their receivers nowadays. Um, so Heos, multi-room streaming app, right? Um, extremely rock solid app. It's it's a uh, technology they've used in their own speakers for a while, but they're they're moving into all their ABR receivers, um, and it's it's a multi room digital audio streaming app. So mm -hmm. that's a really cool feature. I do love that they have the QR codes because the one thing I do hate is trying to find the right app for the right receiver mm -hmm. from a lot of these mm -hmm. guys. Because as the years have gone on, there's more and more and more <laughs> apps. What's wrong? I'm sorry, Sean. Oh, uh, got a little gas in my mouth. <laughs> so, so as you're opening it up, too, um, I'm handing you stuff, man. Let's okay. Let's yeah, we got a out. remote and batteries. Yeah, well, yeah, we had batteries. We now are uh, have a remote. Whoever wins this will get batteries. <laughs> That's we'll right. Batteries. And uh, over here, I've got uh, the uh, antenna. 
AM antenna, as it were, with uh, comes with a Ziploc bag, oh, which you can God. use for sandwiches and chips and pretzels and things such as that later on. On the road. I really need to hit the gym, man. These yeah, you do. Heavy. Yeah, oh, you do. God. Yeah, you do. So, um, man, and it continues, right? It tells you everything about it right there uh, on the front. This, I'll get this. I'll Vanna your white. Pick it up. Oh. oh. Come on. Oh. Yeah. Got it. Okay. There. All right. There so. I don't know if they're looking at that from the front or the back, but uh, tons, tons of connections on the back. There's five HDMI ports on the back there. Yep. 2.3. It's a fantastic piece. This is a, this is a great piece to use if you've got a couple towers, if you got a couple, if you want to do an outdoor system or something on this, those mm -hmm. are great uses for a receiver like this. Um, the fact that it has the AVR side of it is really a bonus. You know, it's got everything you need to be a standard two channel amp yep. and a lot more. Yep. How much power you got? 175 watts, Drew. That's pretty crazy. It's yeah, good. It's that's a lot power. of power actually. So super affordable and it is really kind of for the audio files out there with the quality components built in. It's also got a direct phono input. So it's boosted a little bit, right? Because a lot of those come out a little quiet. Mm -hmm. uh, dual subwoofer outputs. Dual. Dual subwoofer outputs. That's nice. Subwoofer. Woofer. 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 Outputs. Woofer. Woofer outputs. Woofer. Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. With it. Bluetooth. Nice. nice. Airplay. Airplay 2. 2. 2. I was getting there. 2. Airplay 2. What's a 2 mean? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to go there. It means it's the second one. It's an advanced version. It's better than the first one. I'll take it. It's upgraded. I'm in. Yep. Uh, you talked about the lossless audio. They talk about the high res here. Mm -hmm. um, anytime you go to wireless, you typically have a loss in quality. So the fact that they have that USB port is specifically to support the lossless audio, which is fantastic, right? That they offer something for that. Yeah. I'm out of notes because Andre's in the way. Yeah, can't see through him. His yeah. mom was a very bad window maker. Yeah. Voice enabled, right? So you got yeah. Google. Yeah. You've got Alexa. Yep. What else you got in there? Google, Alexa, Heos, AirPlay 2. Siri. Bluetooth. Josh AI. You have Josh AI? This is also an integrator's dream, right? So um, it's got IP control, so you can kind of get in and, and mess with all the goodies in there. It's got the Josh AI, which is very forward thinking. It's got the Control 4 SDPP. Mm -hmm. I think I did that right. Uh, sounded good to me. It's the communication uh, and setup protocol that they use. So it's super it's like, fast like to set SSH. it up and get it going. Uh, second zone mm -hmm. built on in here, mm -hmm. right? Good to go. Zone two is always a nice, uh, nice touch and feature on these. Um, again, this is a much simpler receiver. This is a, a good bread and butter receiver, yeah. right? You can put this on the truck, you can sell these and a lot of upgrade opportunities for people who have a secondary room that mm -hmm. they want a more simple uh, stereo setup or somebody with a, a library where mm -hmm. they go on two channel audio, bookshelf speakers. Um, Denon has probably one of the better overall um, EQs in their systems that, I, that I've ever heard. Their, their mixing and their, their presets are fantastic. And then the control and range you get with their receivers is amazing. Yeah. Another use for these is the landscape audio systems, right? You get these yeah. on the second zone, the outdoor audio all the time, it's perfect. Yeah. So, um, who do we thank for sending this over to us? Tom. 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 Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Tom. Thank you, Tom. Tom, we appreciate you. And uh, what are we going to do with this? Throw it off a ledge. Ooh. <laughs> when? <laughs> uh, I mean, I'd be down. Yeah, Can I'm we not, get that on I'm film? I'm not down. That I don't think abuse. Tom would be happy. It's abuse, and we won't do it. We are going to raffle this off to uh, you. You, if you like, comment, and subscribe. Was a really they should be subscribed thing. already. <laughs> <There. laughs> creepy is my forte. So, this is Mr. Screw with your brain, eat your spleen, wear your flesh as a hairnet leecher, huh? Well, look who's Mr. Scaredy Pants now. <laughs> What's so creepy? It is my forte. Hey, okay, you're playing. Oh, okay. That was creepy too. That was weird. I was trying to get it to stand up. Oh, uh, did it work? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we, we digress. Did we talk about the ports in the back? Did we do all that? You did, right? Yeah. We Which did? ports? Did we do it just? Which ports do you ah, want to talk about? This one's important. Why is this one important? Uh, the monitor out. Well. With ARC. There it is. You got your return? There it is. Yes. Does have ARC support. Um, ARC support, obviously, if you're going to use this in a video setup, ARC support is going to supply you with the ability to have all the ranges of... Uh, of audio, so all the different two by two by two by two, two by two by two by two by two by two by two. They all walked into the arc, and then they all go. All two the Dolby two. Digitals, all the fun stuff out there. Yeah, arc's really the only way to get the full range of that. I do also like the little antenna clips here. Mm-hmm. Little keeps it nice and neat. Little nice neat clips. Yeah, bring well, it home, Drew. Bring it home. Wrap it off, folks. Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate the support. That's right. We need it. Good lord, we need it. Eric and I are so fragile. We hope to see you next time. Don't leave us. Please, don't.
I don't know what that meant. See you next time.